Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. We have a special video today because I have launched another favorites set with Sigma. So this is a collection of some of my favorite brushes for one of my favorite brush brands and makeup brands. This is it right here. This is my favorite set. This is the second version. This set, I kind of wanted to make a collection of brushes because I know people are far more advanced in terms of makeup techniques and artistry than they were five years ago or four years ago. So I wanted to include five brushes that you probably don't have in your collection, but as skilled as you are with makeup, make an excellent addition to your collection. Okay, so let's take a look inside. So this is the box. All the products are obviously inside. Um, a picture of me on the front there. And then inside there's this little um, card with a message from me and a list of the products. And I also wanted to include within this set a product that I have been absolutely loving and love in general and will be using today. We'll take a look at that in a minute, but let's go through the brushes. First up, we have an E21 smudge brush. This is a smudge brush, of course, but this is great for details. This is what we're going to use to make this cut crease today, is what we're going to use to do finer details under the eyes. It's great for blending out fine lines into something smokier. This is a really good brush for finer details. We have the E25 blending. This kind of shape of blending brush is really useful to have in your brush lineup. It's that flat edge blending brush where it's fluffy on top, flat on the edge. So we can get some really, really good precision with our blending. And again, with details for more hooded eyes, this is a really, really good blending brush. And I'll show you how we're gonna use that later. The E54 Medium Sweeper. Now this is a flat brush, which is great for packing product onto the lid just for eye makeup. But again, it also has that fluffier top. So it, we can use it to smudge things out. I love this kind of brush for concealer, for example, because it's flat, because you get that coverage but you can also blend it out with the edge and get like fine cuts off like this. I actually did this with my finger, which I'm really proud of today. <laughs> then we have two face brushes. We have the E47 Multitasker. This is one of my favorite brushes ever. It does the work for you. It picks up the right amount of product. It blends perfectly. It applies the right pressure. And all you have to do is pretty much just stamp onto the face and you're done. You can use this for contour, bronzer, blush, anything where you just want to go boop, 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 boop and be done with it the perfect brush. That's also really good for foundation if you want a good full coverage. And then we have the F76 Chiseled Cheek. This is a really beautiful domed powder brush, which I use for foundation in this video, which you can absolutely do. You can use it for, again, blush, contour, highlight, whatever you want to use it for. This one is a little bit more precise in terms of where you put it. So if you want to concentrate more up here with your blush, I love it for powder. All of these brushes are interchangeable. They can be used for a number of different things, more based on the shape. I'm gonna show you a few options a few ways to use them today, but they can be used for so many different things. I also wanted to include one of the Hydra Melt lip masks. These are beautiful. The texture is like this smooth, almost like gel, jelly, like a bar, it's a balm. <laughs> it's that lip mask texture without being heavy. I, I don't like heavy lip balms that feel like you've got something on your lip and you're just like all the time. I'm wearing it now and it kind of just looks like a lip gloss and I'm gonna keep it on because my lips are extremely dry. So I chose the shade Tint because it's very universal in terms of its shade. It looks beautiful on all skin tones. Although the color isn't so out there that you have to be wary of what color you're going to use, it does give off the tiniest, tiniest bit of color. So I really wanted to include something that was for everyone. Everything I use in this video will be linked down below. You can actually find my discount code for Sigma down below in the description box and a link there, which will give you a further discount on top of this already discounted brush set. So let's get into it. Let's create this look together and I'm gonna show you a few ways to use these brushes. Okay, so let's start with the eyes because, you know, it's always the best place to start. I'm gonna use my Sigma Eye Primer. This is my favorite eye primer ever, as you know. And this is the shade Ignite. What's so good about this is how it's not too dry, but also it's not that concealery texture, so it's not gonna crease. And I actually prefer to use my fingers to apply this to blend it in because the warmth of your skin really helps to blend the product out. Okay, let's go. We're gonna take a little bit of our tint, the Hydro Melt Lip Mask, and you'll see exactly what I mean by this is like a very neutral nude. 
that anyone can wear. I'm applying quite a bit um, and leaving it on as we do our makeup. But of course, this is a product you can use at night, in the morning. Okay, so let's take our eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go in straight away with the E25 blending brush, the one that has that rounder side and I just noticed a string hanging down from his hat. I'll fix it later. So I'm gonna use the brush on its side and go backwards and forwards like this, tapping it. Don't like go in like this, backwards and forwards, just tap, 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 tap off any excess. What I really love about brushes that have that flatness and then the, the blending side is we can come in from this way directly like towards our face. I really need a haircut. My hair's like falling over my eyes. And we can push right into the socket. This is a really good brush for those of you who have really deep set sockets or hooded eyes, because you can push right into that socket and gradually bring out that shadow. But we can use that point to make a really defined eye shape. You see what I mean? So even if you have hooded eyes, you can literally use the flat side to create. You see what I mean? To create the shape that you want, like so. And then I'm gonna hold the brush like this against my face. So the curve is being used and now we can blend and I'm just gonna blend that out towards her ear to create this really nice flick. And if I want more detail, say I want to make detail, say I want to make that shape more predominant, I just hold it pointed onto the eye again and I can bring that shape out. And the same again on the other side. So you can literally think of when you hold a brush this way, this is your application, like you're drawing on the shape. And then when you hold it this way, you're literally blending, erasing it out a little bit. Let's go for a darker shade with the same brush. And we're basically gonna do what we did before, but really, keep it to a minimum and on this outside corner. So tapping on the outside edge of the lid, pushing that brush right into a socket. So when I open my eye, it looks like this. We can add a little bit more up here. Look how deep that purple is. It's like, is it black? Is it purple? But also wanted to make this brush set. Like we don't need like 50 million brushes. Like a lot of like beauty influencers have realistically for an eye look or whole face. We need like four or five. Okay. So we're going to create the cut crease and I have a lot of a detail that we're going to use for the cut crease. We're going to use the E21 smudge brush. Now it says smudge brush, but I love how it has this sharp edge so we can create a cut crease shape. Now I know cut crease is a little bit out of style, but I wanted to do a cut crease because I wanted to do a look with detail so you can see how much you can actually achieve with um, this brush set. Okay, so I'm gonna take the color, I've made like a light purple, and I'm just gonna brush the brush, almost like we're painting, backwards, forwards, front, back, front, back, brush, brush. And with my eyes open like this, looking straight forward, that's how we're gonna create that cut crease arch. Get the round it in first. So again, I'm holding it flat like this so I can get the edge up here. And as I come out this way and I want like a sharper line, I'm gonna bring the brush more like this. Okay, so let's take the E54. This is the medium sweeper. And I'm just gonna tap along where that purple meets the eyeshadow. You subtle and cute. Okay, we're gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette. I'm taking the shade D Daydreamer. <laughs> Dribble, which has a slight shimmer to it. Using the, the E54 sweeper, just tap kind of to meet like this at a slight angle. Plucked my eyebrows early and I really pulled my skin there and it's really showing. That's so annoying. Let's go back in with E25, deepen up that outside corner. Okay, next up, concealer. And we are just tapping this in with fingers today. I love that purple, but it kind of looks like it's there, but not. <laughs> okay, so let's finish up the eye. We're gonna use the E21. I'm just gonna wipe off on a tissue, although it should probably be dry from the um, stuff now. We're going with a darker shade, the Melancholy from this hazy palette. This is great for under the eyes to line underneath because it literally is a smudge brush, but you can apply the color and kind of blend it out in one. So I'm gonna tap the shade on all the way into the inside corner. I'm gonna hold the brush over the, the the shadow like this and just blend across backwards and forwards as it is quite literally made to smudge the product you can also hold it like this and almost like cup under your eyeball and brush across and you get a really nice fluffy fluffier finish like that 
Just gonna finish in the eye. I'm gonna just do a little bit of liner. Okay, so we're gonna use two brushes to finish the whole face. Foundation, blusher, bronzer, highlighter. So let's start with our foundation first. So I'm gonna use the F76 Chiseled Cheek. This is great for powders, blushes, highlight, everything like that. But this, I love this for any cream foundation products, liquid foundation, anything you really wanna buff into the skin. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna take my brush into the foundation and I'm using a cream and I'm just gonna cover the top. So I'm gonna go round, round, round and tap a little bit on top and then just start to slowly buff in circles the foundation. This is great for powder foundations too. Anything where you really wanna buff into the skin, just anything that you're using to even out the skin tone. I just found brushes that are meant for powder products. Blend foundation so beautifully. You hardly have to do any work. We're gonna come back to that brush, but let's do some blush first of all. We're gonna start with a powder product first. I said blush, but we're not. We're doing bronzer first. And I'm gonna use a powder bronzer. This is a Sigma one. Literally all you have to, this brush, all you have to do, put some product on the top of your brush like this, tap off any excess, and then literally stamp onto the face. And just go backwards and forwards until it's blended. And it's just the perfect amount of product, the perfect amount of pressure. Let's go into a cream. And I'm actually just going to use that above, same brush, above that powder ever so slightly. I know they say you shouldn't mix. The professionals here, we know how to do it. <laughs> Highlighter, we have our chiseled cheek brush, and I'm just going to use one side. And this is, it's round and domed, so we can almost use that top, like round domey bit just to apply it just where we want okay so i'm gonna whack on some lashes i might just keep my lips like this with a lip mask on i actually quite like the way it looks and we will be done and that is the finished look so as i said everything will be linked down below for you including my new favorite set with sigma you will also find there my discount code which you can use on this already discounted brush set yes <laughs> <laughs> so you can go ahead and grab one from today. Thank you so much to everyone who does. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.